Hi guys, my name is Michelle and welcome to my channel. I'm Today I'm gonna be painting my deceased pet, a chinchilla. Her name is Miko. She died at about 14 to 15 years old. I loved her and missed her so much. So this is the photo that I'll be painting today. As always, I started with a great sketch. The sketch was done very carefully and slowly because I always wanted to avoid using the eraser on a gesso surface. I'm using a charcoal pencil and trying to erase it would just make a big black smudge on the surface. Then I started the background with some lovely colors mixed with Sensodor and Odorless Solvent by Winsor & Newton. At first, I tried to start with liquid instead of Sensodor but the consistency of the mixture is too thick for my liking for this first layer. So I went back to Sensodor. You'd see I kept changing my brushes because it just didn't feel right. I wanted to avoid very harsh brush strokes as chinchillas have the softest fur in the whole of the animal kingdom. I was trying to achieve that look from the very beginning. The second layer I was painting with Liquin Original. I love Liquin. They dry so fast, but not as fast as acrylic goes, of course. I chose some sweet colors for the background because Miko was such a sweetie and I think this would really fit the mood of what I wanted to portray. This is the first time I tried to paint a bokeh effect background like this. I tried using acrylic once and it was a nightmare. Using oil paint was so much easier and a lot of fun. Painting the eyes are always the slow and careful stage because they are not just a whole black area. There are always the transparent outer layer on the eyeball that you have to take note of in order to make them look believable and realistic. Her ears, her tiny front paws and hind legs are pink color underneath the fur, so I had to paint those first before adding the fur on top. To be honest, at this stage I got a bit impatient and frustrated, cause it's not looking the way I was hoping for. The dark fur seems odd and out of place. I wasn't sure if I was doing the right way. But I told myself, just keep painting. It's oil paint. If I don't like it, just paint on top of it again. So I continued. The short fur on her head and face was kind of a challenging one for me to not make it look stiff. Speaking of chinchilla soft fur, did you know? Chinchillas never have mites or ticks because their soft fur are super dense. Mites or ticks just don't get enough oxygen in there and they will die. So I read.
I've lost count how many layers of fur I've painted. But after the highlights were added, and it started to look better. It's showing the density of her soft fur. So what do you think? Do you like this painting? On hindsight, I probably could have added a layer of brown glaze on some area. But without putting the photos side by side, I was quite satisfied with it so that's where I stopped. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do like and share and see you in the next video. Bye!